Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be another 10 features you may or may not have known about in the game of Farming Simulator 22. I did a video uh, like this already and you guys seem to enjoy that video, so I wanted to show off another 10 features that you may already know about, but you may not. And most of these I would describe as just kind of quality life features or just kind of new things that I think add a little bit of immersion to the game or are just kind of nice things to have in game. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it and get started. All right, for number one, this is more of a visual feature, but you'll see here the sunflowers follow the sun throughout the day, which is just kind of nifty to see that they're moving across or speeding up time. I don't know, something about that is very cool. I think that's fantastic. And then the sun will go down, maybe they'll reset over to where the sun's gonna be the next day and they'll keep doing it and they'll reset and keep doing it. And there's just something about it. So anyhow, that is one of the features there for you right there is that the sunflowers actually follow the sun uh, throughout the day. All right, for number two here is the noise that just the pistons make. I mean, there's so many cool noises that are added into FS22. So noises in general, but one of my favorites here I'm going to show off is the noise that the trailer makes as the pistons slowly collapse. As you can see, this trailer has several pistons on there. You can see the lines that are, and that's what pushes the trailer up. It's kind of hard to indicate it. But if I, well, I guess I'm off out of the tractor. It's going to be, oh, I'm going way too fast there. But if I come up here... Give me these little guys right here. These are the pistons. You can see each one of them is going to make a noise as it goes down. I normally wouldn't use an electric tractor or this small of a tractor to pull this trailer, but I wanted the tractor to be nice and quiet since I have the game volume cranked so you can hear it. So if I lower this back down, just listen close. Every time it hits a piston. Then when it closes. Just the noises like that. It's just the little things that matter. So that is number two for you. Just the noises that are added into this game. All right, for number three, this is the double application of slurry or manure. So as I drive over this field, which is currently not fertilized at all, as we can see here, I can turn this on. Oh, I got to unfold my spreader, of course, first. We'll get this unfolded, then we'll turn it on. So as you can see, I'm spreading manure. If I look in here, it's updating, and I'm getting a layer of fertilizer down. Now, if I look over in the upper left-hand corner, it says activate double application rate. If I turn that on, I'm now using twice as much. I'm going a little slower. I'm using twice as much manure, but if I go in here, I'm now getting both layers of fertilizer on with one pass. So this is, it definitely, it takes, it takes more manure, but it's a lot faster than having to do this twice. So very cool. And again, that works for manure spreaders and it works for slurry spreaders as well. So really, really, really cool. So definitely something that I think is really cool to add it into the new game. All right, for number four is cotton contracts. Now, what I mean by that, I have accepted a cotton contract here. I go up to it, where are we at here? Active, it's 84% done. I have all the cotton in this harvester here that I have harvested from it, so 9,597 liters. Now, back in FS19, if I went ahead and dropped this off, yeah, I would complete the contract, but I wouldn't get anything over and above the contract, which if you know from doing harvesting contracts in Farming Simulator, you typically get extra harvest. But now with FF22, if I go ahead and up there, oops, not there, up there, and if it says, uh, uh, where's the key there? Unload finish bill, which I'll hit Y to do that. If I go ahead and unload this here, it will not only complete the contract, but it will pay me out for the extra that is left over. So make sure we get that in the sell point. It should all work out here. There we go. So here we go. It says contract and field 34 finished up in the upper right hand corner and plus 6,349 for sold bales. So there you go. Just the way that cotton contracts have changed. And now, of course, I can go into here and I can accept the contract income as well. So there you go. All right, for number five, header trailers. So they used to be just a pain in FS19, but sometimes you might actually need them. Now in Elm Creek, you may not, but um, all you have to do now is they actually snap into place. So if I drop my header on there, and you see that it snapped in there, so it's good to go. Again, I'll pick it up. I'll try to get it a little further off this time so you can see a little bit better. So if I snap it, there it goes. Boom, it snaps into place. It's snapped on there. Good to go. You don't have to worry about it falling off and flying off while you're driving around, or at least it'll be much more difficult to lose it. So there you go. Number five, header trailers. All the headers will snap onto them. All right, for number six, showing items that you own on the map. So um, this is kind of a nifty feature I recently discovered. Well, let's say you have a little weight and you have no idea where it's at. You've lost it. You don't want to reset it back to the shop because that's a pain to go try to find it and get it all taken back to the farm. So maybe you get it lost in the bushes or the trees. You just forgot where you put it. So, well, very simple. If I just go into the shop menu here, go down to my garage, locate what I want to find, click on it, and then I hit show on map down here at the bottom, and it will give me a beacon of hope to be able to find my piece of equipment. So if I walk up to it, there we go. 
you have your piece of equipment found. Obviously, I knew where that was at, but if you have something somewhere in the bushes or the trees or in tall grass or something like that, this makes it a lot easier to go ahead and find it. So there you go, showing your equipment on the map. All right, number seven, pastures will adjust and animal pens will adjust to the landscape. So you see I have a couple little hills on here. Now this will work in more extreme conditions as well, but I found that you're probably not gonna build in those conditions anyways. But if I go for like a cow pasture example, do you see how the fence will actually adjust over that hill? So if I wanted to place it right here, boom. It doesn't landscape the whole area flat or whatever it would do. It keeps that just like that. It aligns it to that. Now, obviously, this section of it where the animal animal stuff is, it will flatten that out and do that because it has to do that. Just like the buildings, if I place the building over here, it's going to flatten that out as it needs to for the building. But if I have the pasture over the back end, right there, just like that, it'll do just fine. And this works for, again, if I do like a little chicken pen here, place the chickens, they'll adjust nice to the, the terrain there. Just like that. And you can see how the fences kind of adjust there. Now, if I put this chicken pen down, a little collide with that one, Let's see if I can get it there. There we go. It'll flatten the area for the actual building, but the rest of it, the fence scenario will work just fine. So a very cool feature. I think it's kind of nice when it won't actually mess up all the terrain just as much for you. So it gives you a little bit more flexibility when placing these things. All right, number eight is a feature that is very useful and probably not used as much. This will work in general all the time. So this on here, if I want to turn everything on or turn everything off, I can do that. So if you look up in the upper left-hand corner, I'm gonna hit left control and B. There you go. I'm not sure what the commands are for console or what the key bindings would be for console, uh, but there you go. That turns them both on. Left control B to turn them both off. Left control V to lower them. It'll lower the front one first, then it'll lower the back one right that. And then as I'm driving around, left control B to turn them both on. And there you go. I can just kind of mow as I want to. Left control B to turn them off, B to turn them on just like that. So very useful to be able to run all of your equipment at once. And this will work for cedars and all sorts of different stuff, whatever you're kind of running. So a very nifty feature that is quite honestly awesome and very useful. But there you go. That is the, uh, I don't even know what to call it. The uh, turn all on or off or lower all on or off deal feature. But there you go. That's what that is for you folks. All right, for number nine, this is something that should have been honestly base game FS19, and there was mods to make this happen for PC, but this is the animal count indicator. And what I mean, if I go up here and hit R to go in here, it shows you how many animals you have and how many you can have. This was never there in FS19. That is a new feature and it's very useful. It's for all the animal pens. Um, yeah, and in addition to that, when you go to purchase animals, being able to essentially buy bulk amounts of animals repeatedly. So I can go select that again, select, buy repeatedly so that is definitely a very useful feature and you can also sell in bulk as well but there you go that is the animal count feature all right and for number 10 this is something that was actually added in the last patch but if i go over here to orchards and i place down a grape orchard here you used to kind of have to guesstimate and do it but now you can see it will snap you see how it kind of locks in and i can i'm not i'm pulling over here but it'll snap into place and so you can easily snap nice orchards into place and if i wanted to go this way I could snap off of that and it'll go that way. So very useful. And again, that works with olives as well. I can snap to be able to let me snap here. It will do it. There we go. The olives one's a little bit more difficult to see where it snaps, but there you go. You can snap the orchards together. Very useful. But past that, everyone, that is everything I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.